Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today, if your Amazon Fire Stick is running slow or if it's crashing or just freezing, apps are just randomly just acting strange, very out of the ordinary, you wanna follow these steps because your device may be low on resources and these are the symptoms that your device will have if you start to experience any type of crashing of apps, slowness, buffering, everything. So let's go and jump into a few steps that you can do right now to increase the quality experience on your Amazon Fire Stick. So first, I'm going to open this app here. It's called Def Squid. You may have heard of this app before. It's very user friendly. Once you open this app, you want to go to the section where it says manage. That's where you want to start. So you want to click on manage and you want to start here mainly because this controls all the apps that are running in the background on your Amazon Fire Stick. And when I say your device resources, I mean like your RAM on your Amazon Fire Stick and then also it's taking up space on the hard drive on the Amazon Fire Stick. And when you have all of these apps running in the background, if I scroll down, all of these apps that say for stop next to them are running in the background. And also what happens if these apps are running in the background, Amazon doesn't have a feature where it does for stop these apps for you. So even if you restart your Fire Stick, even if you close the app, that app is still running in the background to make it more responsive when you open it the next time. But sometimes instead of it being more responsive and opening quickly, sometimes it can slow the device down and that way things aren't as quick and they're not as snappy as they once were. So what we want to do, we want to go ahead and click on the button that says force stop next to the app that you want to close. Come down here, click on force stop. Once you do that, that app is closed and you can click your back button. And then once you go back, instead of it saying force stopped, it'll say stopped which means that app has completely stopped and it's no longer running in the background. So we wanna go ahead and do this for every app that's running in the background and this will guarantee. So we force stop Plex running in the background, go back. As you can see, this one has stopped as well. And once you start to close each and every one of these apps, this will guarantee 50% of your issue will be resolved most likely. So I'm gonna go down this list and click on force stop and then I'm gonna pick back up where all of these apps are stopped in the background. It's very simple. All you have to do is open the app, click on it where it says force stop. It takes you to the settings immediately and then you can go ahead and confirm the force stop. Click the back button and continue down the list to the next app until you have no more apps running in the background. Once you have done this where you have force stopped all of your apps in the background, that's 50% of the issue right now. And then we want to go over to just daily protection, which is malware scan. If you click on that button where it says malware scan, this is going to scan all the apps that you have installed on your Amazon Fire Stick. So we're going to go ahead and run this malware scan. And this is just for your protection to keep your device safe and your personal information safe as well. So we just go ahead and go down where it says start deep scan all. Click on that button. It begins the scan. And once again, this is very important mainly because if you have any potential potential threats, which it does say I have three potential threats and you want to weigh your odds on these and all three of these potential threats, which is Plex, Direct TV and Sling TV, you want to consider if they outweigh certain risks. So like Plex, Sling TV, Direct TV, the first thought is do you use these daily? If not, go ahead and delete the app and go ahead and uninstall them immediately because it's detecting something malicious with these apps and you want to get them off of your device immediately. So I would just simply click on these and once you do, you just click on the uninstall button and it go ahead and it does try to attempt to uninstall the app. So I went ahead and uninstalled Plex. So that's gone. Also, if you're not sure on what you want to do yet, you can just delete it and then wait for the next update of that app to come out. And then that uh, vulnerability should be patched and you shouldn't have that issue. And you can run the scan again just to see if they are being detected for malicious or if they've fixed that particular issue within the app. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and uninstall those to get them off of my device because that could potentially slow my device down if it was detecting any type of virus as well. All right, so those threats are gone. Also, if you come up here to the left where it says booster right next to malware scan, you can run this as well to speed up your device. So you, this is just getting rid of all of the cache files that are attached to all of the installed applications on your Amazon Fire Stick. So you just click allow, storage, just say all files. 
and then it says here do we want to delete these apks it's also going to delete any just files that are just laying around that you no longer need so just go ahead and hit yes and it'll get rid of all of that junk that we no longer need that just simply we need it for a one-time use but we no longer need it just sitting on our device taking up space all right so that boost has been completed and then the last thing is very crucial this is the other 50 percent and the booster and the malware scan that's probably about 10 percent but speed test is definitely crucial so let's go ahead and open up speed test and sometimes this part can take a couple of minutes so just give it either about 30 seconds to a minute to load this page it should immediately jump into starting the speed test which is probably why it takes so long to load this potential screen also if it's still sitting here after 30 seconds to a minute just go over to booster click on booster come back to speed test and click on speed test and see if it'll load the page a little bit quicker all right so it did load and let's see it's going to automatically go ahead and go into the speed test as you can see i'm averaging about 100 megabits per second a little low um, all right so it jumped up to all right so we're just going to let this speed test run and we'll see where it ends and gives us our final result on where our wi-fi connection is because my device is running off of a wi-fi connection it's complete and it says 171 megabits per second so to put things in perspective when you're running at 171 megabits per sec second it's not the fastest so the fastest is about a thousand megabits per second but i'm getting about 200 which isn't the worst because the worst would be anything below 25 megabits per second and when i get that math I'll pull this table up so you can see it. So the worst is 25 megabits per second because that's the lowest possible speed that you can stream a 4K quality video. So you may experience buffering if you're trying to watch that at 25 megabits per second at 4K. But you can see as far as a breakdown on where you lie on the speed scale. So you want to make sure that your internet package is above 50 megabits per second at least. That way you can guarantee yourself a nice steady flow of content without any type of buffering. So I, I would say if you're getting anything below 50, you're going to experience some type of buffering, especially over Wi-Fi, because Wi-Fi, the connection speed will fluctuate instead of if you had an ethernet cord that ethernet cord is going to make sure that you have a steady connection and it's going to stay right around 171 megabits per second consistently so just keep that in mind when you're thinking about speeds and what kind of internet package do you need or what kind of speed that you need when you see those numbers megabits per second you want to make sure that it's at least 100 at least in this day and age because that will guarantee the speed that you need and the consistent quality experience that you're looking for without any buffering slowness everything that checks a box for a good quality experience so now what i want to do is go ahead and show you how to get this app on your amazon fire stick if you don't already have it so i'm just going to go ahead and hit my home button all right so this is very easy to get on your amazon fire stick from the home screen all you have to do is go to the magnifying glass click on the magnifying glass and go down to search click on search come in here and type in def squid as you type in def you'll see def squid as the second search result click on that it's the first app right here where it says def squid we want to open this app and we will and we'll be asked to download it click on the download button give it about 30 seconds to a minute to install and then we'll proceed and then we'll show you the app all right so it says open but before i open it i'm going to go back to the home screen really quick i'm just going to go over to the three squares with the plus sign that way it will take me to my app store library so we can find this app normally any app that you recently download it's going to show at the very bottom of the list and you see Def Squid right there. Just click your three lines on your remote, come down here and click on move to front. That'll put it on the first tile for you. That way when you go back to your home screen, it's right here on your home screen and all you have to do is click this first tile. This definitely comes in handy when you're trying to get to something quick, especially when you're trying to force close apps. Very quickly, all you have to do is click on that first tile. This will come up, get in here, force close your apps, potentially restart your fire stick or not 
and you should see a definite increase in speed. But I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you were able to speed up your Fire Stick. I hope you were able to stop the buffering on your Amazon Fire Stick and then understand a little bit about megabits per second and why it's so important about the internet speed as well when you're running a device that requires and runs only off of Wi-Fi and the limitations of the hardware itself. So definitely keep that in mind, but thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.